So, in this vid, I talk, instead of covering what I would consider an overrated anime, why not just cover a bunch of underrated ones? Or, you know, shows that I personally think not enough people are watching? Or, in other words, underrated shows. So, as I mentioned earlier, you can check out the last vid, which was, in my opinion, a vid on what I would take to be a relatively overrated show. Not super overrated, but, you know, all these people calling it a 10 out of 10 show, which is just not true. So just overrated in that sense. Now, to make this as clear as possible, when I mean underrated, I don't mean unknown, okay? So this won't be shows that people will 100% not know about. There might be shows that you've just heard of, but have just not decided to watch just because it's underrated or the score doesn't match up with what the show actually is on mal or other rating um, websites most of these things are easily 9 to 10 out of 10 shows but we're given 8 8.5 so on now i'm going to try to make this video as quick and to the point as possible just to just get these quick recommendation videos out now in the future i will talk about each one of these shows separately because these shows are extremely good and all deserve separate videos this is more or less just a recommendation vid, so I will just be more or less just skimming over the points of why I think you should watch it. So without further ado, let's just get into this. Now starting at the bottom of the list, we have Land of the Lustrous. Probably in my opinion, this is one of the most underrated shows out there. Only reason I didn't put it further up the list is just because of how good the other shows are. Now in my opinion, the reasons why people cut it off or don't give it a chance is because of A, the CGI, and B, the cast of weird looking characters. At least I know for a fact that most of the people I know that have tried to watch it saw the weird androgynous CGI looking characters and just were instantly put off by it. But in my opinion, these are also the points that make the show good. So if you actually are capable of sticking through it, you'll find that this is probably one of the best made cgi shows out there if not the best the cast of weird or androgynous looking characters are also ex in my opinion extremely unique and a breath of fresh air also in terms of the amazing soundtrack it has that just so well goes with some of the most chilling moments that i've seen in anime in general just really bring this show to be in my top three in my opinion so once again, make sure to check out Land of the Lustrous if you have time or if you haven't seen it yet. Next on the list, we have Fruit Baskets. Yeah, another show that, in my opinion, is well liked among the female viewers, but more or less mostly ignored by the guy viewers out there. Now, this, in my opinion, is one of the main points and why the rating is so low. Most of the female viewers out there pick it up and give it a good chance, but... The male viewers tend to drop it really early because of specific reasons, which I will get to in a second. Now, in my opinion, if more people actually got past certain points and actually gave it a chance, they would definitely enjoy Fruit Baskets. So now the reasons why I personally think people cut it off so early is because there's <clears throat> clearly some female fan service in the show. Now. As I said, this is ignorable, but I will understand why there's probably some male viewers out there that will see this and probably not enjoy it. It's not exactly Attack on Titan, but if you can get past most of these scenes, I can guarantee you that it's only up from there. Now the show, as I said, can also be slow at the beginning. It can be really slow at the start. It takes a while for the show to actually start picking up. And I hate to say this, but a female main character. So that can also put off a lot of guy viewers when they see a female main character. So all these three points actually lead to a really, really difficult start for most male viewers to get past. Because they see a female main character, they see how slow and boring it is, and then they see a bunch of female fan service scenes just popping up all over the place. Extremely easy to choose to drop it from there. But I can guarantee you that if you just push past the female fan service, yeah, it can be a bit tough, but just push past it. You will find an amazing all-round show that's really just great in just about every aspect. Very similar to Land of the Lustrous, it has some of the probably best rounded characters and character development arcs in all of anime, I'd say. No joke. Now, 
you will be expecting a lot of emotional scenes that hit hard like i mean hard so just be prepared heading into that show now the final season is airing right now so yeah make sure to check that out as well finally at the number one position we have probably my favorite anime movie of all time yes movie not set of movies the thing about karen Kyoka is it's a sequential set of movies that you can choose to watch in order or out of order i recommend out of order but if you choose to watch it in order that's okay as well and the reason i say favorite movie is because i won't lie there are a couple movies in there that aren't that good but movies five and seven are absolutely amazing movie five being my favorite and favorite movie of all time yes it beats silent voice in my opinion it's just only movie i've watched that really just legit made me stand up while i was like it was like late at night i just stood up and i was like holy shit what just happened full of so many twists and turns once you start i can guarantee you no matter what time of the day it is you will finish it it can be a little bit tough to get into because of exactly what i said the fact that the first four movies are a little bit slow not as good but once you get to movie five <laughs> that's when you'll see something crazy now the mystery element in my opinion is, is what makes the movie or set of movies extremely good and is more or less the turning factor between people who choose to watch till the end or not so if you don't like mystery type shows you will find it relatively difficult to get through the first five movies but movie five is <laughs> mystery as well but there's a lot of thriller you will be standing on your toes now the movies all have an extremely chilling atmosphere to it so you will find it extremely dark airy horrifying basically it has a really horror-esque tone to the set of movies which in my opinion was an extremely hard turn on and also the fact that it was made by the same people that made the fate series one of my favorite series of all times yeah that's my number one position favorite movie of all time definitely definitely recommend it i cannot recommend it enough i've recommended this show to a lot of people who have all decided that they don't want to make it to that fifth movie so the more people that i can get on to watching it the better so that's more or less going to be me on the top three most underrated shows in terms of anime that i think i've ever watched there could be others i'm sure some people would have the list different but these are just my top three um if you liked it or okay you know what just watch one of these shows first if you haven't watched it and if you think it's really good come back and subscribe leave a like and yeah so yeah i'll see you guys again next time